What's up guys? It's Lucy from Neon Rouge 73. I hope everything is going fantastically with you. Today I am actually so, so, so stoked about this video because I am talking about ColourPop. All of you have been hyping ColourPop so much. I was like, ah, I hate things that are you know, just super hyped, and so I will actually refuse to do or watch or go to certain things because they're just just overhyped, and I don't want to give in to overrated things. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna really have to try out these color pop items because everyone has been talking about them, and I am glad Lisa and I placed an order and did it because they're. Awesome. They are definitely worth every dollar. Um, not that you even have to spend that much, but you know what? Before I continue to rave on and on about ColourPop, leave me a comment down below if you tried ColourPop because I want to know what your thoughts are. I understand that maybe not all the products are amazing, but the ones that we have tried, I think personally, are fantastic. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoy this, let us know by thumbsing up this video and leaving us a comment down below. So when we placed the order, I think this is so freaking cute, but they sent this insert and it says thank you right here. And then it says, hey Lucy, ColourPop and chill, XOXO ColourPop. And I just think that is so darn cute. I love when brands have a personalized note because I just feel so darn special. And they also included this insert because I got the ultra satin lippy and it explains how the ultra satin lip works um, and some tips and tricks. I did not get their lippy primer so I'm really curious to see or hear from you guys on how you like that because I was going to get it and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna try without the lippy primer to see how I like the actual product first. And then they also included this booklet which it explains all their different types of product offerings so that includes their ultra matte lip their lippy sticks um their eyeliner their eyeshadow just you know like tips and tricks here in this booklet which i think is pretty awesome as well so without further ado let's get into the products first off i'm going to start with the three eyeshadows that i got they're so gorgeous and you can actually see them on my eyes right now uh, the lighting of this video always washes out my eyeshadow, but let me just tell you, it is gorgeous in person, and if you're interested, you can check out my Instagram as well for more up-close shots, but I got Kathleen Light. Um, this is a really coppery eyeshadow, and guys, I know you all hate hearing how, you know, beauty gurus say that an eyeshadow is super buttery and pigmented, but look at this look at it and it is really just buttery and stays so well my only complaint is that they're really hard to blend out and I don't think they play well with each other um, so it's it's kind of tough to use all three on my lid but you can make it work it's definitely doable I would prefer actually just to have one shade all over my lid because it's better that way in my opinion but totally up to you and then this gold color is Get Lucky because, of course, you can never have enough gold eyeshadows. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed in this gold eyeshadow, to be honest, though, because it's more of a uh, like true gold color. So it's a little bit on the lighter side, uh, but it's good for your inner corners. And you know what? I will never regret buying a gold eyeshadow. Finally, I have Bay and... Let me just tell you, Bay is Bay. I am obsessed with this color. You all need this in your life, okay? It, okay. Like, in the pot, it looks like a black, but when you swatch it, when you swatch it, it turns into this purple, this beautiful, beautiful, like, violet color um, that has metallic flecks in it, and it's just gorgeous like so pretty it's kind of like an eggplant purple but you would never guess from just looking at the pot itself and i would say that if you look at all three shades together it really reminds me of the Too faced pb and j palette which i had really wanted until i realized i basically have the colors right here in these shades so 
I think I'm not going to get that palette anymore just because I have these, but gorgeous. All three are gorgeous. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen swatches of these already, but I wanted to do them on my lips so you have an idea of what that looks like as well. First off, we have Frickin' Frack, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and I would say what you see on camera is pretty true to color. It's a little bit darker in person, but pretty much the same, and this is the only ultra satin lip that Lisa and I got. To be honest, I wish I had gotten more of the ultra satin lips because they are divine. I'm just going to, for demonstration purposes, rub my lips. And you can see that there's some color that came off, but like my lips look pretty much the same. And I would say the lasting power on this is fantastic. My lips don't dry out with this either. It just goes on so smoothly, dries so neat, and it's, it's amazing. My only complaint is taking off these lippies in general is a little bit tough, um, but I mean, you kind of want that, right? Then we have Beeper, which is another one that I got personally for myself, and this is an ultra matte lip. Beeper is a little bit too light for me, to be honest. I kind of look like a zombie with it on, and because it's a little bit more on the neutral side and I'm a more warm person, so if you happen to be someone who likes light nudes and you're more on the neutral side, I would recommend this. Then you've got Bad Habit. It's an ultra matte as well. Bad Habit is gorgeous. It's a an amazing color, especially if you like those colors that pop out. Um, it's bold, but it's also not in your face. Actually, I feel like you could work this color throughout all four seasons. It is fantastic. I have nothing bad to say about Bad Habit get it especially if you're someone who doesn't like bold colors but you want to experiment this is definitely in that middle area next we've got solo and i would say that solo is such a cute pink color it looks really good on lisa and i don't know why but on me i look a little bit more like a barbie doll when i wear this i am a huge fan just not on myself but i think it is such a gorgeous color and finally we've got another nude here and this is clueless I personally like clueless better than I like beeper um, and I wish I'd gotten this but clueless is actually a little bit too light for me as well um, and I don't think it's necessarily neutral which is why I enjoy it but it's just a little too light for my taste but if you like nude lips I would go for clueless versus beeper all right so quickly wrapping up before my camera runs out of batteries Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've tried any of these or if you have any recommendations because I definitely am going to have to place another order with ColourPop. If you have any recommendations, definitely leave a comment down below so we can check them out. I am, I don't know, like I go on that site and I have to fill up my cart and there's like 50 things in it and then I'm like, oh my god, crap, and then I just X out of the window because I'm like, this is too much. So ColourPop is definitely very addictive and I now understand why people are obsessed with it. So guys, I know I said I don't like overhyped things, but like the hype for this is real and it's legit. I see why people are obsessed. I want to try them all out. So if you have any recommendations for that as well, please, by all means, let us know so we can do some more orders and some more slashes. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I just can't tell you how much I love you and how much I appreciate your support, but I do. I just have so much love for you guys. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic week, no, month of March, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'm running out of batteries. Oh god. Uh.